I think the advantages are easiest understood when we compare it to open surgery, which is the traditional way that colon operations have been done for generations surgically. And just to kind of set that baseline, so what that involves is the patient's put asleep, and then when they're lying on the operating table, we make an incision which is often 6 or 10 or 12 inches long up and down the middle of their abdomen. And when we do the same operation laparoscopically, the patient's evaluated before surgery and they're brought to the operating room and they're put asleep. And instead of a 6 or 8 or 10 inch incision, we make an incision that's about half an inch in length and that's usually at the belly button. And then over on the right or left side of the abdomen, depending on what piece of colon we're taking out, uh, we'll make another couple of incisions, uh, less than a quarter of a, an inch long. Uh, and through that we can put in two little instruments to do the operation. And then with the camera and the two little instruments, we can free up whatever piece of diseased bowel we need to, uh, to remove it, whether it's for cancer or Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. And then finally, to complete the operation, we'll make one of those incisions a little bit bigger. Um, often up to an inch and a half in size. And through that one and a half inch incision, incision we'll take out the long segment of diseased bowel. Uh, and then we'll go back in with the camera and we'll hook things back together again. Almost anyone, actually. Um, the patients who are difficult to do laparoscopic surgery on are difficult to do open surgery on. So the classic group that people think that are challenging to do laparoscopically is people who are very heavy or very, very overweight. Uh, but we can do laparoscopic surgery on people who are you know, 300 pounds or more sometimes. Uh, and the reason we try so hard is that we can still do most of those cases laparoscopically. And we know that the worst case scenario is that we make an incision and we do an open operation, which still is a good operation. But for the majority of these difficult patients, if we can finish it laparoscopically, well, they get all the benefits of laparoscopy. They recover quickly, they have less pain, and they get back to normal. So the difficult patients are the patients who are very obese or who've had a previous major operation, because then we have scarring to deal with as we're starting the surgery, uh, or people who have very complicated cancers or other pathology that's stuck to different things. You want to look for someone who's trained, often specifically in the area that they train in. So a lot of general surgeons will do uh, colorectal surgery, which is what we're talking about today. But colorectal surgeons will have done an additional year or more specializing in colorectal surgery. Uh, and that's important because they often have a little bit of extra training for certain things. So there are certainly many general surgeons who do a lot of bowel surgery and colorectal surgery and are outstanding and I'd be happy to go to them myself. But as a general rule, uh, the people with the most training are, are something you look for and then you also want to look for people with the most experience. So people who have been doing it uh, for a while uh, at significant volume and often working in a big centre doing a lot of this kind of surgery because they're more practised at dealing with the, not just the easy cases but the difficult complicated cases which are where you really need the expertise. Wait until you've talked to someone who's experienced at dealing with the condition before, before you get too frightened because the vast majority of the time we can cure uh, cancer uh, with an operation or with the right medications.